So all drama aside, I wanted to go over a few things about clownfish that I thought could be helpful for anyone just deciding to get a saltwater tank. Now I think I do think clownfish are a great addition to an aquarium because you know they're hardy, they're readily available, and more important, most are captive bred, so there's no harmful effect on ecosystems. So my problem or issue is kind of the fact that they're always recommended by local fish stores as a good starter fish, um, or people you know watch Nemo and their kids want the, you know that clownfish. Um, so clownfish, in my humble opinion, should not be the first fish in a tank unless they will be the only ones in that tank. As you've seen by the footage, they become increasingly aggressive as they mature and extremely territorial, like extremely territorial. This becomes a problem because, you know, if you add a new less aggressive fish, um, they'll, they'll for sure get bullied even to the point of, you know, unfortunately death. So if you do plan on getting a clown, get it towards the end after you've added your more docile fish. The other issue I have is they do get big and they are sold as if they can stay in a 10 gallon tank for life. This is unequivocally not true. Uh, you know, species dependent, but you know, Nemo's need, I'd say at least a 40 gallon tank for longer term care. Other species such as like tomato clowns, Clarkies, maroons, you know, get much bigger and need much larger tanks. They are also very, very aggressive. I mean, I've seen tomatoes and maroons that were so dominant and so aggressive that uh, people couldn't put anything else in that tank because they would just kill it immediately. Now, the Nemo fish would be your Ocellaris clownfish and that would be your Percula clownfish. Uh, that's usually what you see the most of when you go to a fish store. So to sum it up, just keep that in mind. You know, I wouldn't add the clownfish in first. I'd let the other fish get time to settle. And a little, uh, for all my Star Wars fans, a little analogy, it's like the Sith, there can only be two. So don't go buying a bunch of different, you know, dumping a bunch of Nemos in a tank. They will eventually fight. The dominant ones will end up killing the, the more docile ones. And you know, you'll end up with two. Just in the end, make sure you do your research when buying a fish and treat them with the same respect you would a dog or a cat. You know, clownfish are awesome to have in your tank and they're a true staple in this hobby. So if you have experience with clownfish, you kept them before, uh, comment below, give people your advice uh, on, on what you think. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you.